Now, B.C.'s judicial system. It costs the province more than a billion dollars a year, but critics and even the premier say it just isn't working. More money and more judges have not been able to fix the problem. The courts are full, wait times are long, and critics say that criminals are going through a revolving door coming out without punishment. Today, Premier Christy Clark ordered a full review of the judicial system, but some say what's happening now is too little too late. CTV's Joe Perkins reports. Less than 24 hours after appointing nine new provincial court judges, the Premier takes the podium. Her focus remains on the province's justice system. Caseloads are falling. Crime is falling. More money has gone into the system. Yet courtroom delays are on the rise, and the Premier doesn't know why. It just doesn't add up. And we can do better, I believe, with the resources that we have. Today, the province announced a full review of B.C.'s courts and justice system, chaired by prominent lawyer Jeffrey Cowper. The Premier says the review will address wait times and backlogs by reaching out to independent judiciary, Crown Council, lawyers and police. The Premier calls it the answer to a judicial system in desperate need of repair. There's been a uh, lack of sheriffs, a lack of court staff, a lack of judges, a whole bunch of problems when it comes to funding the system. He says money is needed fast, but the province brushed off any chance of quick fix funding. And in this case, we are not going to close our eyes and decide that there is that it's only money that's the problem. She admits it's frustrating and critics couldn't agree more. What the premier announced today, let's be clear, is a sort of a dog ate my homework in advance of the budget. The NDP say the Liberals provided no concrete answers today, calling the review an attempt to win back voters. I think that's what this announcement is about, and other announcements have been about. It is about trying to boost the image of a government that who's way past its best before date. An Angus Reid poll released last week shows the B.C. Liberals have an uphill battle on their hands. The poll gave the NDP a 14-point lead. Since then, the Liberals have made a number of announcements, totaling two hundred forty nine million dollars some say precursors to a spring election but I do think it's right to see this rollout of a bunch of announcements in those terms it's unclear if voters will be headed to the polls sooner than planned for now what we do know is the justice system isn't working it's not right it's not working and I'm really frustrated about that so frustrated that the whole system is headed to review and CTV's Joe Perkins joins us now outside the Victoria Law Courts. Joe, in addition to that announcement today, the Premier also merged two law and order ministries. Tell us about that. She did. She's adjusting Shirley Bond's responsibilities. Uh, Shirley Bond, the Attorney General, the Solicitor General, the Public Safety Minister. Shirley Bond will stay on as the Attorney General, but she'll become the minister of a newly created ministry called the Justice Ministry. Now, the uh, changes to her role also mean ICBC will fall under the responsibility of Kevin Falcon and the finance ministry and liquor and gaming regulations will become the responsibility of the minister of uh, mines and energy i should also note hudson that as far as the timeline goes for that review uh, this summer the review is supposed to be complete and then changes will come into effect the premier says hopefully by this fall all right joe perkins live at the law courts joe thanks you're welcome